Oh, creative friends, how to design a trifold wedding program just like this one. So this will be done with Corel Draw 2021. So let's start. The first thing you're going to do is to change your size to A4. One thing you need to know about designing is that you have to understand the size you're working with first. So I'm going to set my size. If you're not clear about the size, you are free to ask your client what size they want for their program. So I'm setting it to A4 because I want this to be trifold A4 just like a brochure. I'm going to set it to A4 and make it landscape. And after that, the next thing you're going to do is to segment this page into three segments. So let's do that with the rectangle to create a shape just like this and duplicate this shape into three. So after that, duplicate in such a way that it aligns just like this. You can see how it aligns together. So there should be no space in between them like that. Align this again on this other side. Ensure there is no space. So if you have something like this, that's cool. You can select all the circles and group them. When you group them, then you click on your page. So let's take the size of this A4 page and apply it to the custom shapes we just created. Okay, so this A4 has 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. So I'm going to click on the custom shape. You know, because we are able to group this shape, that's why Corel just selected the three shapes at the same time. So you can now apply the size 297 by 210. So I'm going to click on the shape and type here 297 by 210. Then, okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to press P on your keyboard to place it on your page. Then you can now ungroup the three shapes. So we now have three shapes just like that. So that's the trifold, you know, from the word try. And that's three, three, yeah. So we have that. And it's going to be front and back. What I mean by front and back is it's trifold. So it's going to be six pages, three in the front three at the back so we're going to create a second page and then copy the three shapes on the face page copy that and paste it on the second page all the resources i'll be using for this tutorial will be in the description so you can check it out download it for your own practicals however if this tutorial does not sound like a step-by-step -step tutorial then that's because we have done so many Corel draw tutorials on this channel that i wouldn't like to be repeating steps every now and then so because of that i'm going to make a full list of all the choreo draw tutorials i've done and put them into one playlist and put the link in the description so you can just check out the link in the description and watch every other tutorials we have pertaining to choreo draw that will guide you throughout the step-by-step -step process of designing with choreo draw then you understand all these tutorials i create so back to wedding program tutorial okay this is page one on page one we are going to have our first page here and then when you get to page two we are going to have page two here page three here page four here and then we go back to page one and we have page five and six so it's going to be six pages and that's how the movement is going to be so here are the resources of drag and drop the first picture in Corel draw and power clip this inside this shape just like that and then i'm going to scale up this picture like that and place it around here very cool and nice okay so proper scaling of picture matters a lot because it makes the design look balanced if you don't scale your pictures properly your designs won't be balanced. Open up the power clip and let's extend this picture. To do that, I'm going to duplicate this picture. And after duplicating, I'm going to take this up and send it to the back control page down. So it has extra background that covers this place. So with the help of transparency tool, I can blend this background just like that. To have something that looks like this so that area is covered now then i'm going to create a shape just here like that and give it a blue color just like that take off the outline and let's create something that looks like this slide this shape a little to have this kind of adjustment and you place it around here 
and then we're going to give this a blue gradient like that like so okay it was something like this so we are mixing up a solid blue with a lighter blue to get this blue gradient that's very cool and nice you can click on finish once you're done if you look at the corners of this shape there is a black hairline and i don't like that so i'm going to click on my shape and take that off then i'm going to create a circle here centralize the circle and I'll copy and paste the circle again so I can duplicate it like this and give it a white color so I have something that looks like this. This blue circle will have some level of transparency so I'll add some uniform transparency there. So I'm going to bring up this ring inside here and reduce the ring just like that and power clip it inside this white circle. Adjust the ring to fit the circle just like that and that's cool then i'm going to group all the circles here and increase the circle again to have something that looks like this then you can centralize that this wedding program is nigerian style of designing wedding program so i'm going to make it a very professional program up here i'm going to type this now adjust the text this way by breaking it into pieces like this and press ctrl k to break the text into different lines then i'm going to give this wedding a separate font change the case to title case and that's cool then change the font all the fonts i'll be using for this tutorial will be in the description so you can check out the font names and download i'll use glimmer light for this one and i'll give it white color and increase the size just like that that's cool centralize that and then i'm going to change this r to poppins that's cool give it white also and place it around here and for program i'm going to use poppins and reduce the font size reduce that and use your shape tool to adjust the tracking just like that and give it white color as well so you can place it around here that's really cool so you can group everything that is happening here and place it up here because i'm going to bring the couple names in this program the couple names are salome and patrick okay so i'm going to place it around here and change the font to glimmer of light again so that's what i'll be using for the couple names and centralize that so we have something that looks like this and for that i'm going to reduce our wedding program a little so it has some contrast with the names just like that take this up a little so this is what we get a barcode containing the date of the wedding can come down here let's say 21st october 2023 so i'm going to change this font to barcode so we have something that looks like this and you can rotate that and place it around here so this is how it looks moving on to the next page where we are going to have page two three and four we are going to bring in another picture here to do that i'm going to bring in this blue shape i have here being that i want everything to be in uniform so i'm going to power clip this shape here and take it up a little increase that so we're going to power clip a picture inside this shape just like that I'll bring in this picture in here and power clip inside open up the power clip and power clip inside this blue shape so i have something like this this is really cool and nice then i'm going to copy this page in front here to the back so i can pick the yellow colors here to create contrast here using your eyedrop to you can pick any of these yellow colors and drop it on this shape so we can have this contrast we have here then you can delete this other one that's just it so we have this contrast here page one usually contains informations like this that introduces the whole program so i'm going to place that here and i can adjust these pictures to fit this page just like that okay so that's cool close the power clip so this is what we get and i'm going to take off all the hairline on these shapes because i don't like them set outline color to take them off you can use these guidelines to separate the three segments to make it easy for you to work with this the third page contains information like order of service so i'm going to place this here and i'm going to type here order of 
service. Corel Draw is repeating the last font I used, which was the barcode. So I'm going to change that to glimmer of light and change the colors to black. You can place this around here just like that. And you can even get creative with this by breaking the font into two and reducing order of and increasing service. This should be titled case. Cool. Then place it around here. Take order of and place around here and increase it a little. You can pick a color from any of these yeah, attire and give to service just like that. Then using this same shape, I'm going to use that to create a separation here where I can place another picture. And you might be wondering why I'm picking the same shape to duplicate. That is because I want the slant to be the same all through the program. So it will have this level of unity so i'll extract this picture out of there and then i'm going to power clip this shape here so i have something that looks like this so i would like to reduce the level of yellow here to do that click on this shape and hold control add white to this page so we can reduce the level of yellow we have there so i'm going to copy this same level of yellow right click and drag and leave on this shape then you're going to copy fill here so we have something that looks like this bring in this picture into this place so i'll just reduce that and i'm going to power clip inside open up the power clip and power clip inside again then i'm going to adjust the picture to match this shape just like that then you can click on finish that's it page four here is usually for him so i'm going to give that a blue color and create a blue gradient just like what we have had in the beginning just like that so i'm going to bring in the hymns i like to paste these hymns here so we have something that looks like this i can reduce this and change this to one point okay that's cool so you can go as far as duplicating this font so we can use it to type hymns and then we're going to increase that and then we're going to increase that give it a white color and rotate it this way that's cool then i'm going to power clip this inside here adjust the hymns to match something that looks like this then add transparency to it so it's going to be on the background just like that this is really cool and nice however whatsoever you are doing ensure that all your body copy fonts are usually very readable so you have to place them accordingly and here is one guide when arranging your wedding program you have to ensure you keep spaces for trimming so you don't have to design up to a point that all your text comes to the top so you have to be cautious of your arrangement such that your elements should not come close to the edges so during trimming they won't cut off your text that's why i'm keeping these spaces around the edges just like what you can see here have enough spaces around the edges except for hymns that is not really important even if it cuts it won't cut that much so page one page two three and four is done left with page five and six so for that i'm going to take off the outline on this ones again and we have a plain shape just like that so i'm going to duplicate this shape again and paste it on this other side that's cool and i'm going to adjust the shape just like that and place it here page 5 usually contains information that has to do with the wedding crew so i'm going to paste the informations here and place it around here just like that that's really cool and nice i'm going to change this font to glimmer that's because i don't want us to have too many typefaces i just want us to stick to the ones we have here in the program adjust this shape down a little to have something that looks like this and this is really cool below here we'll carry informations like the order of photograph so i'm going to paste information for the order of photograph here and i'm going to change the colors to white so it's going to be really visible here arrange this very well so it can fit into this page perfectly well in my resources folder i have a camera here i used to represent this order of photography and i'm going to reduce that and place it around here reduce that again and place it around here that looks 
really cool and nice so for that i'm going to adjust this wedding crew and take it up a little so it won't conflict with what we have here that's really cool and nice place that there and then other photograph here that's really cool and i like to duplicate this shape again and place it around here power clip that and take it up this time around it's going to be up so we have it here and that is the last page and for that last page that's where we're going to have order of reception and the appreciation so i'm going to paste the reception program here and i'm going to place it around here let's and i'm going to adjust it to match this page just like that so we have something that looks like this and i'm going to change this font once again so we have something that aligns with every other font that we have here reduce that and place it around here that's cool so for the blue shape i'm going to bring it down a little so it brings out all the text we have here and lastly the appreciation i'm going to paste this appreciation here and that's cool reduce the size and place it around here so it fits with this arrangement change this font to glimmer so he can have the exact same font there and the colors so everything can match this it looks really cool and nice so i can reduce this again to align with the text up here so that everything can be in the same line using my ruler you can see it's well aligned so you can always use your eye to align objects whenever you are designing and this space can be for your imprint and that will be nice that is the phone number of the designer or the printer so pretty much page one page two three four five and six are done so i'm going to bring in this wedding flower i have to spice up the design i'm going to bring it from here it's a pdf file so i'll just drag and drop in corel draw then let it come in as cuff okay so this is what we get so you can bitmap that so it won't slow down your pc you can bitmap that to rgb then i'm going to reduce this and place around here you can just place it around just to make this design a little bit colorful not too flat duplicate this down here again and power clip inside just like that so we have something like this that's really cool you can duplicate it to this other side as well so we have something that looks like this too and i'm going to duplicate it to this side also and power clip inside that's cool so i'm going to adjust this one to this angle this way that's really cool so you can see how it makes the design pop out and looks more like a wedding program copy that and paste it on the center page as well so we have something like this around here you can reduce this here reduce that place it around it that's cool and then i'm going to duplicate this here and power clip it inside here so we also have something like this on this other side that's cool and i like to do same on this corner so i'm going to duplicate again and power clip inside here so i'll enlarge that on this corner so we have something like this pretty much this is it so after making this whole thing this is the precautions i took when making this design i ensured my elements do not cross to the edges so after cutting it won't affect my text you can see everything inside just like that well guarded two i ensured that every element is well aligned just like this well aligned it's not just cut out everything is well aligned accordingly three i ensured i use contrasting colors for this and that is very cool contrasting colors that matches with the outfits of the couple and lastly i ensured that i'm very very specific about the size i use and at the end i had this result check them out and see how it looks like thank you so much for watching this video if this video makes any sense make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend i'll see you in the next one